The topic I will be talking about is the human rights people of color deserve. This is a huge political issue in America at the moment. If we're being completely honest, it should not be an issue we are still fighting for. People do not choose to be a person of color, but we embrace it and we embrace our culture and the fight that we face. The topic of human rights is something I fight for because of people of color. Women's rights and the LGBTQ plus community's rights. This is a land of the free, but really people struggle with things that shouldn't be an issue anymore. Racism, homophobia, and women's rights should not be in question. If this really is the land of the free, the way people say it is, everyone should be treated equally. and We should not be fighting for our rights. The poem I chose is If We Must Die by Cloud McKay. If we must die, let it not be like hogs, hunted and penned in an inglorious spot, while round a spark the mad and hungry dogs, making their mock at our accursed lot. If we must die, oh, let us nobly die, so that our precious blood may not be shed in vain. Then even the monsters we defy shall be constrained to honor us through dead. O oh, kinsmen, we must meet the common foe. Though far outnumbered, let us show us brave, and for the thousand blows deal one death blow. What though before us lies the open grave, like man will face the murderous cowardly pack, pressed to the wall, dying but fighting back. When I read this poem, the message and the theme that I got is to always fight for what you believe in. In this poem, he talks about fighting against bigger powers and bigger people, and that can easily be compared to what is happening now in the world. Protests such as the Black Lives Matter movement are easily comparable to this poem, These people are fighting for their rights and the right to not fear their own protection. These protests have become so violent just so their voices can be heard. And in return, people are being gassed and shot at with rubber bullets and being injured so that people of color can feel safe. These protesters are doing everything in their power to have their voices heard and they are risking their bodies and their life in order to get what they want. People are not stopping. Maybe you aren't seeing it as much in the media, but people are still fighting to make things a little bit safer for those people whose lives are at risk, just calling 911 for help. The way I was able to understand the poem and the meaning behind the poem is the punctuation he uses. He uses these commas to make the poem a more meaningful tone. You can almost hear the hurt this man is feeling just by the tone he's using. The author uses an older style of English mixed with modern English and it gives things a dramatic feel to the poem. All of this makes the poem more meaningful and more powerful, using the extra more dramatic punctuation in the old English and the heartbreaking tone. You're able to understand the pain that this man feels, and you can feel the heartbreak that he is going through just writing this poem. One thing that I see as a big part of how the author gets his point across is when he says, in vain, then even the monster we defy shall be constrained to honor us through dead. This shows the power that their fight has. He is saying that even if they die, they will go down fighting, and the only people who will deal with this is the people that they are fighting with. When comparing the Black Lives Matter movement, the officer who is doing the bad is the person who has to live with the guilt. Going down fighting for what is right is better than being the person in power who is fighting on the wrong side of things. This new generation does not need to be fighting for their rights and They need to know that their skin color does not change things. For my questions, I ask, describe the tone present in lines 10 through 14. Though far outnumbered, let us show us brave, and for the thousand blows deal one death blow. What though before us lies the open grave, like men will face the murderous cowardly pack, pressed to the wall, dying but fighting back. I also ask, what are some counter arguments people sometimes make against this viewpoint in the poem? The second poem I chose to write about is Still I Rise by Maya Angelou. This poem is all about how powerful women are and how amazing women can be. Men have always put women down in the past by saying things such as, you belong in the kitchen, or you don't get a say in what happens, you're just a woman. Women are fighters and I will stand by that till the day I die. No matter how many times a woman gets told no, if she thinks she can do something, she will find a way to do it. This poem is called Still I Rise by Maya Angelou. You may write me down in history with your bitter, twisted lies. You may trod me in the very dirt, but still, like dust, I'll rise. Does my sassiness upset you? Why are you beset with gloom? 
because I walk like I've got oil wells pumping in my living room. Just like moons and like suns with the certainty of tides, just like hope springing high, still I'll rise. Did you want to see me broken, bowed head and lowered eyes, shoulders falling down like teardrops, weakened by my soulful cries? Does my haughtiness offend you? Don't you take it awful hard? Because I laugh like I got gold mines digging in my own backyard. You may shoo me with your words, you may cut me with your eyes, you may kill me with your hatefulness, but still, like air, I'll rise. Does my sexiness upset you? Does it come as a surprise that I dance like I've got diamonds at the meeting of my thighs? Out of the huts of history's shame, I rise. Up from the past that's rooted in pain, I rise. I'm a black ocean, leaping and wide, welling and swelling, I bear in the tide. Leaving behind nights of terror and I fear, I rise into a daybreak that's wondrously clear. I rise, bringing the gifts that my ancestors gave. I am the dream and the hope of the slave. I rise, I rise, I rise. This poem has a strong tone in it. You know, by the way she words things and describes herself, she feels like a powerful woman no matter the circumstances. She is fighting to show that she is stronger than these people want her to be or even allow her to be. To me, the theme of this poem is just to allow women to feel strong and powerful and tell them that they are powerful. When she describes how the men expect her to act in lines 16 through 19, you can tell that she is a confident woman and she knows that she is stronger than what these people are allowing her to be. This poem allows you to see how strong women are and have always been. Women should not be overshadowed or treated differently than any of the men around us. Women still fight now for equal pay and equal opportunities. Men think that they are much better than women, and in reality, women are right up there with them. And in my opinion, most times even better. In lines 29 through 34, you can see where she's come from and the hardships that she has faced. But even through all of the tough times she's been through, she comes out much happier and stronger than anyone could have ever expected from a small woman, as some people may say. Women deserve rights, and they deserve the right to be treated as equal to their male co-workers. And women are always much more powerful and stronger than people think. The questions I have for you for this poem are, in what ways are the concerns of this historical poem relevant in our world today? And what does the title add to the idea presented in the poem? I think these two poems can go hand in hand together. Women, no matter skin color, struggle to get the same opportunities as their male counterparts do. And on the topic of po people of color, women of color struggle much more than anyone because people think because she is a woman, she won't stand up for herself. I truly believe that if someone wants something so bad, whether that be the right to feel safe calling 911 or the right to earn just as much money as their male co-worker who is doing the exact same job, they will achieve that one way or another.